Time now for another episode of The Gathering Dusk. As we look in on the Bessinger household today, Edna is resting on the banister of the basement stairway. It's mid-morning, and Mr. Fundy, the chief of the Red Boiling Springs Alcohol Tax Investigation Unit, is just arriving. Oh, it's you, Red Boiling Springs Alcohol Tax Investigation Unit Chief Fundy. It was good of you to come so soon. Well, things were pretty quiet around the office this morning, Miss Bessinger. In fact, I was just playing a game of Scrabble with my assistant when your call came in. Oh, is that so? I play quite a good deal of Scrabble myself. As a matter of fact, a bunch of girls here in the neighborhood have a Thursday evening Scrabble club. I'm the sergeant at arms. Well, I think it's a nice game. I enjoy it. Oh, I do, too. Just last Thursday, I hit the word Quirtus. On a triple, I picked up something like 45 points on it. Quirtus? What does Quirtus mean? It doesn't mean anything. We have a club rule that you can use any word with a nice sound to it. You know, Quirtus, Swidmore, Swank, Plovit. Things like that. Well, doesn't that kind of take the fun out of the game if you can just make up words? Well, we don't make them up. They just don't happen to be in the dictionary. I see. Emma Schroeder is going on her vacation next week. Maybe you'd like to take her place on our Thursday night games while she's gone. It would give you a chance to meet a lot of attractive girls. <laughs> well, thanks for the invitation, but I do something else on Thursday nights. What? I don't care. Anything. Well, suit yourself. Well, I'm sure you didn't call me over here to talk about Scrabble, Miss Passenger. Is there something I can do for you? Well, yes, there is, Red Boiling Springs Alcohol Tax Investigation Unit Chief Fundy. It's about the gentleman I've rented the front bedroom to. I was cleaning up in there this morning, and I found this bottle of hooch. I don't want a man who drinks bootleg booze living in my house. Well, what makes you think this is bootleg liquor, Miss Passenger? Well, you can see for yourself there's no tax stamp on the bottle. And when I took a swig of it, it almost blew the top of my head off. It's hooch, all right. I just hope he hasn't set up a still someplace here in the house. Well, didn't you read the label on this bottle before you drank the stuff? It's aftershave lotion. Well, I don't see how aftershave lotion could pack a wallop like that. Sure it isn't a phony label? Of course I'm sure. Probably the witch hazel in the stuff that gave you the kick. Well, certainly is a relief to know that I'm not harboring a criminal, Red Boiling Springs Alcohol Tax Investigation Unit Chief Fundy. I think I'll just kill the rest of the bottle to celebrate the good news. <sighs> My stars. I almost feel as if I'm no longer standing in the gathering dusk. But if the mysterious man in the upstairs bedroom is not a bootlegger, who could he really be? Be sure to join us next time when an even more baffling development occurs in The Gathering Dust.